Hello children, let's understand a wonderful chapter that is structure of atom. Children, do you know that atoms were considered to be indivisible means we cannot divide the atoms further. It was actually proposed by Dalton, John Dalton. He was a very popular chemist. So, he said that atoms cannot be further divided, but we can actually divide atoms. Yes, atoms are further divisible. They are divisible in subatomic particles and basically there are three subatomic particles, electrons, protons and neutrons. So, what are we going to study in this chapter? We will be dealing with the structure of atom that what is the entire structure of atom, where do these electron, proton, neutrons, they exist or are located in the atom. So, this is just an example of carbon atom. See, there are protons, neutrons and electrons. How many electrons, protons and neutrons are there? Definitely, we will be discussing these topics further. So, let us start with the chapter. So, children, initially it was found that atoms are indivisible. Now, we know that and you know that atoms and molecules, where are they present? They are present in everything. Means whatever we say is a matter, they contain atoms. See these particles, solid, gas and liquid. These particles are matter, right? These particles actually make up matter. So, what are these particles? These are either atoms or molecules. So, atoms and molecules are the fundamental building blocks of matter. Different atoms constitute different types of matter. For example, H2O will have the molecules of H2O, water, water, water everywhere and similarly carbon dioxide gas will have CO2, CO2 molecules in that. When we talk about aluminium foil, which particles will be there? Aluminium atoms. So, can we say that particles are actually present in a way that they are the main building blocks of the matter that is they are present in solid, liquid as well as gas. So, atoms and molecules are the fundamental units or building blocks of matter and different types of matters will have different types of atoms or molecules. So, let us proceed further. Now, to establish the structure of atom and its properties, this was the main challenge. What was this? This was the main challenge initially in chemistry that how can we find out the structure of atom because atom is very tiny, right? Its radius is calculated in nanometer. So, it is so tiny, how can we find out the structure of atom? Then one of the first indications for atoms are divisible was proposed by studies of static electricity. Yes, initially John Dalton said that atoms are indivisible, we cannot break them. But there was a proof given by the studies of static electricity which actually focused on that definitely there are charged particles in atoms that atoms are divisible further. How? So, we will discuss the activity in order to understand. So, there are charged particles in matter and atoms are further divisible because they contain charges. Atom is neutral every atom is neutral, but how there is a charge possible in an atom. So, atoms are divisible and consist of charged particles as they conduct electricity. So, it was found that there are particles which actually conduct electricity. The way we have shown here, so if you rub the balloon, the inflated balloon with your hair, they start attracting to the balloon, right? So, it is one of the interesting example which shows that there is a static electricity between them. It means there must be some charges. Which charges? Same charges or different charges? Do they have like charges or unlike charges? We know that unlike charges attract each other, right? What do we mean by unlike charges? Unlike charges attract each other. Unlike means positive and negative, opposite charges they attract each other, right? So, if they attract each other, therefore, there must be some positive ne negative particles in the atoms present 
uh, among the balloon and the hair particles. So definitely there are some charged particles which are the parts of the atoms only, right? Because atom is the main unit. So the activity clearly proves here that matter contains charged particles. So how you will do the activity? It's very simple. You can do it at home. There is no need of any lab for this. So what you will do? Develop a static charge on the comb to attract the pieces of paper. Have you ever tried it? You can try it today also. Take a comb and put some pieces of paper and then try to attract. How? First of all, rub it on your hair to develop a charge on the comb and then the pieces of papers will be attracted. Similarly, develop the static charge by rubbing comb on the dry hair or a glass rod with the silk cloth. See, this is a silk cloth and we are rubbing silk cloth on the glass rod. So, by this means there will be a development of a charge. How there is charge developed? Because certainly atoms contain charged particles. So, if atom contains charged particles, it means atom is divisible, right? It is not indivisible, it is divisible, it has some charges. So, what are the observations? Initially, the comb and the glass rod, they are neutral, they do not have any charge. But on rubbing the plastic comb with the dry hair or the glass rod with the silk, it creates static charge that attracts the small pieces of paper like this. So, what we have done? We have taken a comb, we rub the comb on the dry hair, it created some charges on the particles and by which the comb is able to attract the pieces of paper. So, also we can also develop the charge on the balloon, right? So, the charged glass rod or hair attracts an inflated balloon like this. So, it clearly indicates there are charged particles present in atoms. So, atom is further divisible. So, what are the conclusions? So, any two items that are rubbed together become electrically charged. Both are oppositely charged. That's why I said unlike charges because unlike charges attract each other, right? So, I hope you have understood that the atoms are divisible. They are not indivisible. They are divisible. We can further categorize or classify the particles of atoms as electron, proton and neutron that we will be discussing in the next video. I hope you have understood. Thank you.